So one of the first things we're going to have to do in this chapter is we're going to have to find the slope between two points. Now kind of our old way of doing this was if we had a, a graph like this, right, uh, and we were given two points, let's say here and here, if we want to find the slope between these two points uh, and of the entire line in general, what we would do is just say, well, how far over do we go and how far up do we go? Um, this works really well if we're already given a graph because we can say, like, I'm just going to put in some fake numbers here. Let's say that's over 7 and this is up 2, right? So the slope of this line is 2 sevenths because we, we think about slope as rise over run. It's the speed that this line is increasing at. This works really good, like I said, if we have a graph already, um, but if the numbers get really big or complex, um, like the real world tends to get, we're going to have to find a better way of doing it. So let's take a look at uh, an example. So let's say I had um, 7, negative 11, and 8, 9. So these two points, I mean, I could, I could always go back to the old way of thinking, right? Where I have a graph, 7, negative 11 is like 7 over and down 11, right? Way down there. And 8, 9 is 8 over and up 9. So we should have a line that has a positive slope. And we could calculate the rise and run, but let's learn a new way and just kind of confirm that it, it works against kind of like our old way of thinking, right? And we're going we're gonna to concentrate instead on kind of this new way of doing it. So if we had this one, we know that we're going to go over some distance and up some distance. So the question is, how do we find those? Um, remember that Y controls how far up and down uh, we go on a graph, and x controls how far over. So that idea of thinking of rise over run, really what we're saying is how much, how much does y change and how much does x change? And this, the, this sign right here, this triangle is called delta. It just means change, right? Um, and so if you think about like you as a little kid, let's say that you were, you were two feet tall at some point, right? Well, right now, I'm much taller than that. I'm like six and a half feet. So if I want to see how much taller I've gotten in my time, uh, if I want to figure out the change that I had in the change in height, like we're just about to do over here, the way that you do that is you, you, you have to subtract them. You have to subtract the, the now by what the past was. So six and a half minus two, yeah, I've grown four and a half feet. Um, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to subtract our y's to figure out the change. So here's the formula. Here's the formula. And it gets a little bit, I don't know, it looks scarier than what it actually is. It's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And this whole y2 and y1, just think about it as I'm going to subtract the y's, I'm going to subtract the x's. That's all you have to think. This, this y2 is saying, well, if I have two points, right, remember how we call this like, it's x and y. Um, what we're saying is, well, I've got two y's. How can I tell them apart? Well, this is just going to be, this one right here is just going to be my first point, And this one right here is going to be my second point. If I would have flipped those and made this my second point and this my first point, we're going to get the same answer. So let's see how this plugs in. y2 minus y1. So 9 minus negative 11. y minus, and then y1 is a negative 11. So that, this subtraction sign right here doesn't take into account that that's a negative 11. You have to include both of them. And then x2 minus x1. So now as I'm, as I'm solving this, I can see 8 minus 7 is 1. And 9 minus a negative 11, if you subtract a negative, that's really addition. And you get 18. 18 over 1. So this slope is actually just 18. Well, look at our look at our graph. Yeah, we went over one and up 18. So really, what we're doing isn't a, a new thing. It's just we can go straight from the points to the slope without having to go in between. 